good evening so today we are going to be with this uh, second video uh, for revision and we are theory and problems that is uh, theory and problems of doubly area in four sections So now we will go doubly reinforced section. So we can have uh, in doubly we have steel on tension, as well as we have steel on compression side, and that we are going to say as doubly reinforced section. We have this as X U. Then D C we have effective cover uh, of steel on compression side. Then you can mention this as D dash. That is effective cover uh, on tension side. and then we are interested to find the moment of resistance of this so we will go one by one so if you will see we have this as a strain diagram and now we have to consider some uh, symbol for this that is for compression steel now we have this as dc we have this distance xu and as this is dc so automatically this becomes x minus dc from geometry we have 0.0035 upon xu and that is equal to so we have mentioned it as epsilon sc and that is upon xu minus dc and then we have equal to this is for uh, uh, triangle which is below neutral axis which is uh, d minus xu and we have this as 0.002 plus fy upon 1.15 es now from this geometry uh, we are in position to find not neutral axis and all this so this geometry plays very very important role when we will talk about doubly reinforced section then we have neutral axis calculations now we are going to convert it into two parts one we have this is singly reinforced section this i will say as ast1 and this ast1 will balance cu1 which is due to concrete so in this concrete will be resisted by ast1 steel and this will be tu1 i can say and lever arm between this we are going to get it as d minus 0.42 xu because we have this is from top 0.42 plus so these all things actually we have uh, over, over over here so this d minus 0.42 xu cu1 and tu1 then we have this is second part this is cu2 which is due to compression steel which will be balanced by tu2 and this we are going to say as ast2 now try to understand this in case of uh, mu1 so i will say this is mu1 we have lever arm d minus 0.42 xu and then we have second mu2 in which we have lever arm as d minus dc and then we are going to add these two mu and we will get it as mu1 plus mu2 then we will have cu is equal to tu cu1 plus cu2 is equal to tu1 plus tu2 and then we will substitute this value just already i have mentioned we have this uh, cu1 as a singly reinforced section 0.36 epsic xub now we have this cu stress in compression steel fsc into area of compression steel so we have fsc into asc but when we are going to reinforce the steel on compression side that much concrete is going to be replaced due to this steel and that area is asc and stress in concrete we are going to say as fcc so stress in concrete at level of compression steel and into asc so this we have to subtract from this value and therefore we have fsc minus fcc into asc which is equal to 0.87 fy ast1 plus 0.87 fy ast2 and if we will take 0.87 fy common then we have 0.87 fy ast then from this we are going to get this is most important equation xu is equal to 0.87 fy ast upon minus fsc minus fcc ast upon 0.36 fc kb so this is important equation for double area reinforced section then already we have seen that is 0.0035 upon x is equal to epsilon x epsilon sc that is strained in steel that is on compression side and x u minus dc and then from this i will get a strain in steel on compression side so we have this formula this formula is also again most important one 
we have to use to find value of stress in compression steel. Then we have for mild steel. Now, if you will see the stress diagrams, then for mild steel, we have definite uh, value of the uh, E, or we can say epsilon SC, we can have this as definite value, and therefore directly we can go epsilon SC into ES, which will be 0.87 FY, which we will get over here. But we are in this uh, uh, FE 500 or FE uh, 415, we do not have any definite value and therefore we have to use that is this curve. So if we will go to IS, then in that IS on page number 70, figure number 23A and 23B, they have given the diagrams and from these diagrams we have to prepare the table. Now for mild steel, we have FSC directly epsilon SC into ES, which is which should be, this is most important again, should be less than or equal to 0.87 FY. And we know ES is 2 into 10 to 5. And if we will substitute all these values, epsilon SC into ES, epsilon SC we have 0 0.0035 minus DC upon XU into ES we have 2 into 10 to 5. And from this we will get this value. So this formula we are going to use for FSC when we have mild steel. So this is for mild steel. And this we have to go that is for 415 and 500. For 415 and 500, we cannot use this formula because uh, this our uh, stress or value of uh, value that is yield stress is not definite in case of your uh, 415 or 500. Then we can have uh, here you can see the direct relation between FSC and epsilon SC can't be obtained because stress strain curve is not linear and hence the values of FSC are obtained from stress strain diagram for HYSD bar. So this is most important is not linear which we can have here and I already mentioned we have to go figure number 23A and 23B. 23B and that is on page number 70 IS 456. Page 70 IS 456. That both diagrams are given. Then we have neutral axis calculation. So I will directly go. So we have this. Sorry, this is not neutral axis again. So we have this as moment of resistance. So we have moment of resistance calculations. Moment of resistance calculations. And from this we will get 0.36. So this value we have MU1. MU1 from both. Here my liver arm is D minus 0.42 XU. And then we have MU2. And then we have this will be plus CU2 into D minus DC. And plus FSC minus FCC. So liver arm is D minus DC. These two things you have to keep in mind very clearly. D minus DC and D minus 0.42 XU. And plus we have TU2 into D minus DC. And so from this we are going to get moment of resistance. Now we have just uh, MU1 we know. So by using this 0.87 FI AST1, we are in position to find out AST1. From MU2, we are in position to find out AST2. And we know AST1, AST is AST1 plus AST2. Then MU2 again, we have another formula, which is FSC minus FCC ASC into D minus DC. That you can see over here. That is FSC minus FCC ASC into D minus DC. And that is TU2 into D minus DC. And from this, we are in position to find out ASC value. And then AST, we have AST1 plus AST2. So now we will go. We have three types of problems in this. For FE 250, we have two types. One where we have value of FSC that is less than 0.87 FI. And another we have that is FSC greater than 0.87 FY. So now we will go with this one. So calculate the moment of resistance of a doubly reinforced section we have given. That is 5 bars of 20 mm diameter on tension side and 3 bars of 16 mm diameter on compression side. And we have to use M20 and FE250 effective cover is given 35 millimeters. So now we will uh, start with we have given that is B is given 300 effective cover is 35. So D. So we have calculated this D value that is uh, 500, uh, 450 minus 35 
then uh, we have fck fy ast we have given that is given five bars of uh, uh, 20 mm so we have 314.16 and then we will get it as 1570.8 and asc we have given that is uh, three bars of 20 so we have this as 201.06 and then to three we will get 603.19 millimeters now we will start with so we have this will be basic this is cu1 this is cu2 and then we have this as tu1 and we have this as tu2 and that is equal to tu and from this we are in position to find value of xu and we will get value of xu in for this xu we have to assume this value of fsc now let us we will assume value of fsc 0.87 fy because we know value of fsc should be less than or equal to 0.87 fy let us we will assume we have this value equal to 0.87 fy and then by using this we will calculate value of xu so we have this value of xu that is equal to 116 point so we have this value that is 116.92 mm now we will see whatever we have assumed that assumption is correct or not and that we can find by using formula of uh, fsc and then we have this will be we have first xu max that we have to check it and then we can say under reinforce and now we have this formula fsc and from fsc we will check it whatever we have assumed is correct or not so you can see we have 701 minus dc upon xu uh, dc we have that is cover we are taking both sides same that is 35 mm and we have xu 116.92 mm and from this we will get value of fsc 490.65 and this value so this value is actually greater than 0.87 fy and therefore we have to consider therefore fsc should be equal to 0.87 fy which is 217.5 and our assumption is correct so if your value by using calculated value of xu is greater than 2 217.5 that is 0.87.5 then you have to assume value 217.5 so our assumption is correct and we have to use value of fsc that is equal to 217.5 newton per mm square so keep in mind if this is greater then you have to consider 217.5 and by using this now we are in position to calculate moment of resistance we will just substitute the values and by substituting value we are going to get value of mr and that mr we have that is 126.9 kN meter now we will switch out to the second problem uh, that is uh, uh, here we have the 300 500 mm deep reinforced with 5 bars 20 mm then we have uh, 3 bars 20 mm diameter on compressor use m20 and fe 250 what we have changed we have changed only effective cover now we have made it as 50 mm so see problem is going to change and we have also changed value of uh, d also over here now d we have 500 minus 50 and then we have 450 then other values this will be as it is now here actually we have considered three bars of 20 sorry we have also changed this three bars of 20 mm and we know we have that is 314.16 and then into 3 we are going to get 942.5 so what we have changed here we have changed value of depth and we have changed this three bars of 20 and then we have effective cover also we have changed now formula i will not repeat now and now here again we are going to assume fsc as 0.87 fy so we will have this as 217.5 newton per mm square so whenever we will have fe 250 we will assume it if my value comes greater than this then our assumption is correct if value comes lesser then our assumption is wrong so now we will substitute the value we got value of xu that is 63.27 now we will check it by using uh, xu uh, fsc formula and now here you can see we have dc 50 xu 63.27 now we have value less than 0.87 fy so i can directly write less than and therefore our assumption is wrong and then what we have to go we have to put fsc equal to 700 in bracket 1 minus dc upon xu in this equation here we have to substitute value of fsc 
and that value we have to put as i have mentioned 700 in bracket 1 minus dc upon x and by this we will find value of x u you can see this so now we have this 0.36 fck x u v plus now this is formula for fsc into asc 0.87 fist now we are going to take that is uh, liver arm so we have liver arm over here and that liver arm uh, Sorry, we have seven hundred. So LCM we have. So one minus DC. So what we have made here? So point thirty six FCK XU into B plus seven hundred in bracket XU minus DC and divided by XU equal to point eighty seven FYAST. And then LCM we have taken it will go on this side. So we have 0.36 FCK B X U square plus 700. So we have made separate A S C into X U minus 700 D C into A S C equal to 0.87 F Y A S T into X U. So we have rearranged the term and we have made a quadratic equation of uh, X U. And from this we will substitute the values and from which we will get value of X U. Now this value is again less than x u max, which already we have calculated, which is 0.48 into uh, d, and this is uh, 70.22 less than 238.5. And then from this we will get value of f s c, and we will substitute all values, and we will get f s c 201.57, which is actually less than 0.87 f y. And now we will substitute this value of uh, f s c for moment of resistance. And neglecting F F C C. See, in all we are going to neglect F C C because we are uh, we are not considering this. Otherwise, we have to put F C C in some pro books. F C C is taken as 0.45 F C K, but we will not go over here because compression steel is in most of the time in your rectangular portion where we have value of uh, uh, stress that is 0.45 F C K. And then we will substitute these values, and that will gives me moment of resistance as 141.78 kilonewton meter. So we have these two types of problems when we will talk about AP 250. That is one we have uh, less than uh, uh, 0.87 FY, and another we have greater than. When it is greater than, we have to put it 0.87 FY, and then we have MR 141.78 kilonewton meter. Then we have second problem. This problem is related with actually uh, with F F E four one five. So we have now changed. Now we do not have F S equal to point eighty seven F Y. Here we have to use twenty three A and twenty three B and sorry twenty three A only for this. So we have to use figure twenty three A. Now we will start with first given data. I will not explain now given data. So this is four into two zero one point zero six. And then we have this will be two into one one three point nine. And then we have these values. So B is given two seventy five. D we have three one seven. Now again D that is important. Clear cover is twenty five. Now here again this is important. So we have uh, bars four. So now we have this will be twenty five plus diameter we have. 16 so 25 plus 8 now if we will go to compression side we have two bars but now here we have 25 plus 6 now be very careful with this because we have diameter of bar as 12 so we have 25 plus 6 and therefore on compression side we have dc as 31 and we have this as 33 mm now we will go with this so following the steps uh, Give idea for assumption of stress uh, in compression steel FSC. So we have to assume K U start. Then A S T one we have to calculate. We have same formula. If you remember, we have point thirty six F C K X U into B, which is equal to point eighty seven F Y A S T. Same formula we are going to use instead of A S T. We are mentioning A S T one. And this X U we are going to write down it as K U into D because we know X U is K U into D. 
and substituting this, we are going to get AST value. Now these are thumb rules to assume first value of KU. Then we have AST minus ASC. We have calculated AST, so not AST when AST 804.25, ASC 226.19, and we will get this value 578.06. Then KU actual, which we have to assume for first trial. So we have this as first trial. And then we have value KU AST minus ASC, we have 578.06 upon 521.53. And this value comes 0.33, less than 0.48, which we have that is KU max. Then we will have epsilon uh, SC 0.0035, minus DC upon XU. Actually, this value we have to consider it as 0.31, but I have calculated it considering 0.33. So, will not be a much change in this one. We will get 0 0.00240, which will be my value of epsilon SC. Now, we have this table which we have prepared that is from 23A. So, this table is from 23A. We have already explained in the class. Now for 0.00241, so we have value as 342.8. So we have assumed this value 343. This is first trial. And now we will find value of XU. We will get it as now we have substituted all values. And here FSC, we have to put whatever we have assumed for first trial. So we have this will be 343. And then we will substitute all values. We will get value of XU 107.47, which is less than KU max into D. So now we have epsilon SC. We have calculated by calculated value of XU. And then we have again 0.00242. So it is very close to this 0.00241. So we will take this value 343 as it is. And then now we have this value 343 and then we will substitute this 343 in moment of resistance and by using this moment of resistance we will get this value as 79.73 kilonewton meter which is sorry this comes uh, 57.85 uh, plus yes so this value we have actually 80.04 kilonewton meter so this is 80.04 kilonewton meter. So we are problems like this. We have only three types of problems. You saw these three. So these are more than sufficient for your doubly reinforced section. So for second lecture, we will stop here only. Thank you.